Alright guys, CPO here, and I'm going to do a quick overview of my Watchmaker build. This is the CPO's version 13 for me, but um, it's going to shape up. It's probably about public release 0 .08. I've got some more stuff I want to do to it. Um, but I'll show you a little bit about the watch, and I'll show it to you here on my Galaxy Gear S3. So uh, if you're not familiar, Watchmaker has now released a... Um, the ability, the support for the Tizen OS, which is what's on the Galaxy Gear. Uh, previously, Watchmaker was used on uh, on Android uh, Wear devices, and I don't know all the other ones, but uh, anyway, it just recently, as of like in the last week, started supporting this particular watch. So, of course, I'm going to take advantage of that. Uh, so, I'm going to show you this watch, uh, a little bit about the features for the watch face, the CPO uh, right now version 13. And, uh, and then I'll show you what I did, why I did it, and uh, some cool stuff. I've been working, uh, the, the real crux of this project has been the countdown timer uh, that would work when the display is in this off mode, the dim mode, or the always on uh, display mode. So a lot of people have been having problems finding a consistent countdown timer that would work um, in this mode. I solved that. Um, the only thing I don't have is the ability yet for it to do any sort of alert or notification, particularly when it's when the watch face is off. But I can show you on the always on display on the dim mode uh, the remaining time for the countdown, and it will continuously update. And I'll show you kind of the creative way I decided to do that. But anyway, so this is the always um, on display the dim mode for my particular watch. Uh, as you can see, I've got just the uh, simple hands and the indexes around. Um, when uh, when I'm not looking at my watch dead on, in other words, uh, when I'm not uh, you know to a point where it's gonna the display is gonna come on, um, I like to see hands because then uh, it's easy for me to tell the time without uh, having to read the digits. So one thing I did with this particular um, uh, deal is the indexes actually every minute move. Um, I don't know if you can see, they're a little bit um, away from the edge right now, um, but um, here in a few, uh, few seconds, probably uh, in the next minute, they will shift. There you go, just got it on camera. So it's shifted and that's gonna prevent burn in from those indexes. So there's nothing on this display that will remain constant uh, more than about a minute or so. Uh, and the exception of that will be if I'm actually running the countdown timer, you'll be able to see um, how I did that. Uh, but getting to uh, the actual uh, watch design, uh, this is the uh, the design. I've got um, basically triangle indexes around the perimeter. I've got my uh, date up at the top. Uh, those three zeros are actually the countdown timer, but that could also be uh, the stopwatch function, which I'll show you how that works. Uh, I've got the date there, or I'm sorry, the time. I've got the temperature. Um, I've got my next two calendar items. And I've got my heart rate monitor. And uh, it's also now, thankfully, pulling some steps um, off of the phone. So, uh, and then my battery for uh, the watch and my battery for the phone. My name, CPO there. And then I've got the sweeping second hand with a radar sort of effect. So, um, whenever you, um, oh, it looks, it's doing my heart rate right now. That's crazy. Um, anyway, so when you press the middle, it changes screens. Uh, so right now, this is the basic uh, stopwatch function uh, within Watchmaker. Press it again. This is my custom creation. This is a countdown timer. I'll show you more about that. And then I'm back. I also have what I call movie mode or dark mode. I actually sleep with this mode on. If I press the center or the bottom center, uh, it goes into a very um, muted display. And, um, and then I press it and, uh, and release it. And that can happen from pretty much any screen. I'll go to that muted display. Um, like I said, good for movies, good for dark places where you don't want uh, the watch to be bright, but you actually do uh, want to take a look at it. So... All right, so let's get back into this. Um, first of all, you can see up here um, my countdown. Actually, that's the uh, stopwatch, I'm sorry. So when I press the middle, I go to the stopwatch. Um, and as you can see, start, stop, reset, just standard functions. Anytime the stopwatch is active, 
Uh, it's going to display here. When it's not active, it's not going to display. So um, start the stopwatch. And then now I get that reading there. So it's just my creative way of showing me what I'm actually using at the time. So I'm going to stop that, reset it. Now I'm going to go to this crazy guy. This is the countdown timer, uh, again, designed to work consistently even when the watch is uh, in dim mode. And uh, a lot of people have been having problems with like the on millisecond or on second commands or function. Um, I'm doing this uh, in a unique way, sort of a pseudo epoch sort of a way. Um, I'll explain more. I've got some code to clean up before I release this, but uh, this is how it works. So um, these digits uh, are all uh, individually pressable, the blue ones, to set the countdown time. And I can actually, and there's logic here. So if I go to two, there's no three. It's going to go back to zero, right? Um, so, um, and again, back here, I can't go past 23. Um, so, but just to show you what's capable, if I can do this with a camera. So I decided not to worry about the actual uh, singles for the seconds, but basically I can get about 24 hours of countdown timer um, going here. And I hit start, and uh, you see the countdown actually starting. Um, and that will run. And then, of course, like I said, if, if the display goes off, you've got this blue border, which I'll tell you about, that's actually... Uh, uh, an elapsed time sort of uh, indicator to show you how much time, you know, or how much you have left distance, I'll call it, until the end of the, the countdown. But uh, as you can see, it's still running um, even though um, it was off. It didn't pause. It didn't change anything because it's based entirely off of things that don't go to sleep. Time. The time does not go to sleep. Um, so I'm going to stop that. Uh, I'm going to reset uh, here. And... Um, let me start with something a little bit simpler. So I'm going to go to one minute. All right, so that blue bar around the outside that you saw was not just a pretty trim. It actually will count down uh, in a counterclockwise fashion until the end of the uh, time. So in this case of a minute, you can expect if I start that, it's going to count down and every second it's going to go all the way around. So it doesn't matter what you set the timer to. It's going to go from a complete circle to zero, uh, no circle, um, given whatever that time is. So there's 60 seconds in a minute. It's going to take a minute for that to go around. Obviously, it's about. Um, it's going to end up being one per second. So if I stop that and reset, and uh, let's do... Uh, actually, let's do two minutes. Oh, I didn't... Uh, Reset my counter. There we go. Again, this is still in the not quite final release version. All right, so I got two minutes going. So now, basically, it's it moves. Um, it takes twice as long to go as the one that was a minute. So you know, every two seconds, it makes the same distance. But it will go all the way to the end. And then let me reset this and uh, let me show you two hours. Same thing, but it's going to go really slow, uh, if you can imagine. Thirty seconds. It's going to go really fast. Ten seconds. And it's gone. So I don't have any alerting. I don't have any buzzing. I just, I can look down and go, oh, you know, I'm getting close to the end. Now, Grant, obviously, the longer the time frame, uh, the less granular it is. So if I set it for an hour, um, that thing's going to move fairly slowly. Let me just, for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to set it for 10 minutes now, and uh, and we'll watch that kind of progress over time. Now, when I go back to the main screen, I've got that countdown on the main screen, and you can see the blue bar starting to separate there as it's counting down. 
And on this screen, I've also got the actual uh, minutes and uh, in this case, seconds remaining. Um, the other thing I did is I have it set so that on the always on display, the dim mode, um, it will tell me to the nearest minute how much time is remaining. So it will continue to work along with the minute hand. And I'm just going to try, try and hold this here. There you go. You just saw it change. So every minute that will update to give the most current indication. And this is kind of my, you know, how long until whatever. So use case for this for me, uh, honestly, the, the weird thing is um, I use this in movie theaters. I, one of the things I love to do um, is uh, on other watches, I'll set a timer. I'll set the, the time for how long the movie's going to do. I'll set a timer or start, stop watch and pay attention because I like to know how much time is left. Am I halfway through the movie? Am I three quarters away through the movie? I know it's dumb, um, but I use that actually a lot. So this is kind of the, yeah, hey, are we close to the end of the movie? Are we halfway through? It, it's not a precision instrument. If I was going to do that, I would just go to the watches um, app for uh, a, um, a countdown timer and then get an alert notification at the time that it's up. But this is sort of a, you know, approximately how long do I have left, right? So if somebody says, hey, come back in an hour, um, you know, and your, your whatever was going to be ready. Okay, I'll set my timer, my countdown for an hour. And then as I'm wandering around, I can just watch that blue uh, ring dissipate. And when it gets close to the end, I'll know, hey, my hour is up. And if I want to get more fidelity, I can obviously... Um, turn on the watch face and see exactly how much time is left. But you you did see, um, even in the always off, or always on display in the dim mode, uh, that will update each minute. Now I could put also the, um, the countdown time remaining there. I just chose not to. I kind of liked this idea, um, experimenting with it. Anyway, so that's that. Um, that gets me the countdown. Uh, and of course, you know, I put it in movie mode. Um, or, or dark mode. I don't have anything uh, on there. I debated whether or not I wanted the countdown timer for that. Um, I probably will do something like that um, because, quite frankly, um, it'll come in handy in the movies. Um, but again, you know, it does update and we, remains constant uh, even when the watch uh, face is not active. Like I said, just a my implementation. Uh, I thought it would be cool to be able to independently um, add uh, time with these digits um, and uh, and there you go and it works so far like a charm so that's that um, more to come I'm sure sorry it's a long video but I wanted to show this off uh, for those of you that might be interested peace